Welcome back. In this short presentation, I will introduce you to the study site that we will be working on in this practical tutorial. And uh, we will be dealing with a flash flood event that took place in Iran in 2019. It was a flood that affected millions of people, that displaced thousands of people and also killed people. So there were fatalities and also the economy had great losses due to this flooding event. So now let's take a closer look at uh, what, what happened here. So the location of the flooding event was in basically the entire country, except for a couple of provinces that were untouched by the heavy rainfalls, but especially the provinces Golestan, Fars, Khuzestan and Loristan, among others, were heavily affected by the rainfalls and the flooding that came shortly after. So as I said, this is a flash flood event, and that means that the duration of it is rather short, so we did have strong rainfalls over a short period of time. And all these heavy rainfalls occurred uh, between mid-March and April 2019. So this was the situation um, regarding the accumulated precipitation uh, in Iran. So you can see here that the precipitation was accumulated from 1st of March to the 14th of April. And you can see that we had a lot of precipitation, especially in the uh, more elevated areas. We had um, severe floodings already uh, at this stage in the western or southwestern part of, of Iran, in the Khuzestan province. And also uh, strong precipitation could be found in the uh, northern uh, province Golestan. That will be part of this tutorial because we will take a closer look at the city of Agala. So you can see already that it was a quite an, an extreme situation uh, with precipitations that are not usual uh, for this short period of time. It should be noted that Iran is quite a flood prone uh, country. So this means that floods are becoming more and more frequent and more and more uh, extensive and extreme, which is a global trend. And as in other countries, floods are always uh, related to causes of life, causes of livestock, causes of land obviously, so it also degrades land significantly and also damages the entire economy heavily. This map was created uh, from ECHO. ECHO is the European Commission's Directorate General for European Civil Protection and Humanitarian Aid Operations. This is an institution that is basically designed to help during emergency times and is able then to quickly map and quickly bring together information that potentially help politicians and also uh, scientists to evaluate the situation. Now let's move on to the impact. I already mentioned this briefly. So we had more than 16 million people that were affected by the floods. We had more than 500,000 people that were displaced due to this event. And the damages to the economy of Iran was estimated to be between 1 million and 2.5 billion US dollars. So you can see that this is really extensive and it should also be noted that the major portion of these damages occurred in the agricultural areas where people actively depend on the land and actively depend on the crops they are growing. Now let's take a closer look at the history of this event. So in total Iran was hit by three major waves of rainfall during this flood event and these occurred over the course of only three weeks. So you can imagine that after one heavy precipitation, the next follows right after, and this is a situation that really worsened the flooding situation. In total, 26 of the 31 provinces of the country were flooded, so you can see how immense and how extreme this event was. For example, on March 17th, uh, the precipitation was so heavy that it was accounting for above 70% of the annual average. And you can see that this is already quite an, quite an uh, impressive number because it's 70% of the annual precipitation in just basically a couple of hours. Now let's take a look at the weather situation that occurred during these weeks. So here we can see a modus image uh, and uh, it displays uh, visual colors and near infrared colors to bring out the water bodies and also the clouds that brought all the precipitation. 
And what you can see here is that we already have immense floodings in the uh, Semnan province, for example. So that's in the in the center of the country. You can see that there are water bodies that are usually not there or at least are not as big. So there are already extensive floodings. Um, it's a, it is a false color composite from uh, the 28th of March. So it's not even uh, within the within the end of the of the precipitation so it already went on for a couple more weeks so the situation even further worsened after this image was taken so <clears throat> during this flood event we had large amounts of precipitation and this led to the fact that many dams broke or at least overflowed with water which is something they just couldn't cope with uh, which is too much water and the dam failures or the dam overflowing led to an even increased uh, problem with the floods. So we had the flooding already on the country and then also the dams uh, broke or overflowed and this uh, brought even more water on the surface. Something that should be noted here as well is something that is also a global problem and that is the increased amount uh, of, of sealed surfaces that can be found uh, in basically in every urbanized area. So uh, this was also a problem here. It could be seen that especially river valleys uh, were uh, sealed to an extent that sh should not be present because sealed surfaces always prevent water from infiltrating and thus worsening a flood situation. And by the way, it's not only worsening a flood situation, but also the sealing of surfaces in this area leads to a higher temperature uh, because soils usually cool the area around it and therefore it is a bit problematic to uh, put urban planning always after natural uh, preservation. Now that you know the background of this extreme flood event, we will move on in the next topic and show you which tools we can use to derive the flood mask for this area and introduce you to the uh, modified normalized difference water index. Thank you.